Most That's the day of my podcast. <laughs> 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 I mean, so you know, only twice as much as the days surrounding it. <laughs> nothing on Google. Like, if you just search, that would bring There's up. nothing on Google. I've been on that website <laughs> earlier, and there was just nothing. I can try to find stuff. And... What is it? It's empty. I have got to play a game what? with it. What, what even is dinosaur? Google? <laughs> that dinosaur it's fun though to see, like, what the suggested things Every are. Like, you search this words. and oh see, like, God. what people are searching for it. from us. Yeah. Sorry, Twitch. You just got a little audio from a Rocket League ad because I was not muted. <laughs> oh, are we live? Yeah, we've been live. Dude, we've been live oh. since we since y'all got on the call. Everything you said, what? that's all live. <laughs> what? What? Even when oh. Tim was talking about how much he hated our listeners. Oh my god! Especially during that part. Oh, we should turn off the D and D Beyond thing. Um. Or. Huh? Do you guys give a shit? We, I, we could probably quickly load. I don't know what you're saying to me. Oh, I love that thing. Y'all are using that? Uh, yeah, I use it for uh, Hell Hour. I was going to say something. Oh, guess what song I woke up with in my head this morning? What the song? The bones are their money. <laughs> and so oh, are man. the worms. It's been so long. I just love thinking about it. The issue is that none of us are these characters right now. Right. Yeah, we'd it's have to change of, that. It's kind of funny to leave it up though. I don't want to. I don't want to show these cretins our. Um, I fixed it. Uh, our character sheets. I love it when they see my character sheets because they already know that there's like f five or six major errors. On my sheet at any given time. I, I think your I sheet should have anything. more Cone of Colds on it uh -huh. and more uh, whatever that death ray is, ice touch. I think that there should be like other, like you got Cone cone of Cold and mm -hmm. they should have like other, other shapes and it doesn't really give you a whole lot of benefit. Like how much more do you get from a cylinder of cold <laughs> than a Cone of Cold? An octagonal. <laughs> cold. There's nothing. Octo deca. <laughs> Octo deca. Yeah. Guys, I played, on. I've already played D and D today. What you? What have you done? Go to work or something? Stupid? I went to f stupid work. I I played I, D and D and bought my first house today. What have you done? What? Did that happen today? No. Oh. It's like a. You never seen those like, like we're. Fucking ten years old, and we bought our first house. Oh, what have you done yeah, with your bad. life? I hate oh, yeah, I fucking. All like, well, all I, I, I look forward to you getting divorced in two point five years. Like I didn't get any help. I was just born w white to millionaire parents. <laughs> <laughs> I was simply given a free education and uh, a job at my dad's company. Y'all, yeah. y'all watching that new season of The Good Place? Yeah. yeah bro. <laughs> where, he's like, where he's like, uh, he's like, I work to get into that college, just like my dad and his dad before him. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes a good place is like. Oh. <laughs> um, I've also been watching the newest season of Shit's Creek that just got put on Netflix, and it is so good. Love Shit's Creek. Hell yeah! What's Shit's Creek? Tim. Please. Tim. Tim. Oh, and we played, we played we played D and D last night, except for his dungeon That's what I said. world. I didn't. You give me pleurisy. Hey, Twitch, what up? What up, my stinky bitches? Raise your hand if you're part of the stinky bitch crew. Woo! Um, do you want Stank Squad in recording? I have to pee. Oh yeah. my god. Piss your Michael! pants, Timothy. Every goddamn time. You know what you should start doing, Michael? As soon as we go live, say, let's start recording, and then Tim will go pee then. That's so smart. You and then he can't. Him. He won't. Or Jennifer, lock the door on him so whenever he tries to leave, he can't get out. And then he's got to piss in the trash can. <laughs> Don't you have Here's a mesh trash can? Trash yeah, can? it would be... <laughs> That's a bad idea. No one, might, no one would be happy about the result of that. <laughs> Tim would be. Oh, God. Remember when Blackman got the trash can from... Puff, what is it? Puff, puffy? What? Yes. Puffy oh, go puff. In Atlanta. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's probably still in uh 
in Paul's trunk. Yes, in his Tesla. Well, no, because the skeleton was inside the garbage can, and he's got the skeleton on his like TV now or something. So he must have done he something. He took the skeleton out and left the trash can in his car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. And also the worms. <laughs> we can paint them bounds. You guys right, ever seen that show? Uh, Ready. Ready to record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. You didn't already? Ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> I got On go. Three, two, one, go. Go. We're recording. Recording. Blah, We're recording. Blah, blah. Recording. Blah, recording. Blah, blah. Recording. Recording. Do I sound normal to you guys? Mm-hmm. Okay. It looked a little big on my thing, so I was trying to make sure <laughs> I didn't sound like a weird robot. Chunky lime. Chunky lime. I just draw a little at. Okay. Uh, we're recording. Uh, waveform is big. We are good to go. Big, big. waveform. <laughs> big waveform. <laughs> Doing a can. Hey, where do I get the big waveform? <laughs> I don't like to think about the tuna can. <laughs> I don't like that. Bye. I hate. I shudder to think of it. We will do the bones. I should. I should shave my beard with the ball trimmer. <laughs> on, live on stage. On stage. Oh, no. stage. What stage are you gonna do this at? This one. The stage of the internet. Internet. The internet is our stage. dear internet. Boop, beep, boop, beep, Man, boop, our beep. our song for that slaps. It's so good. It is really good. I hate it now that it's not me that's saying the internet. I just keep getting an urge to karate chop Tim in the neck. So geeklyinc.com didn't get that many hits on the day. What Tim the is fuck? on the case. He can't stop investigating. He's, he's all about analytics right now. I love analytics. <laughs> Analytics yeah, yeah, there it is. I was waiting that. for a gap to slide that one in there, but you got it. Gap cast, cousin, come in a jar. Gap cast comes from who you are. That's a bug you <laughs> I think it's good. That should be our new, our new theme song. Michael, so we already agreed that my new character is most Pallone, and I think oh instead God. of... <laughs> I think instead of whatever the fuck you're doing, let's just have a bug juice arc. Have a what? Oh my god. Uh... Bug what? juice! The bug show! juice! Uh... What? What? What, it's like slime not cool anymore? Is that what the kids are making now? What? Bug juice? No. Or they have the fucking bug juice like bottles, the little kid drink, you remember? I remember that shit. It was yeah. Bug juice. Is that what you're talking about, Tim? Nope. <laughs> nope. Is it a Nickelodeon show? Yes. Hell They're yeah. At camp. They're at camp. Or is it Disney? I think it's Nickelodeon. Is it Disney uh, XD? Or Disney Plus? Oh. Ah. 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 What the fuck happened? Um, all right. Well, we should maybe record. Yeah, let's fucking do this shit. I'm ready. I guess I'm if that's what y'all want to do. Did something happen? Oh, I bet we're... It was like a... Mm. What if it was when we were featured on Spotify? Were we featured somewhere? Were we featured uh, on Spotify? Yeah, because remember that one week. Last... Yeah. yeah we but were. none of them stuck. The, the next week is back down. That seems like it was two weeks ago, 20 days ago. What are we talking oh, about? This was like three weeks ago or whatever. On go. <laughs> I think something broke. What are we doing? Oh. We're starting our podcast, you fool. Oh, we're already recording. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Greetings, adventurers. I am your dungeon master, Michael Demaro, and with me is Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Jennifer Cheek. Hey, everyone. Mike Bachman. Hey, everybody, it's uh, recording artist, singer songwriter Mike Bachman here. <laughs> Andy Goward. It's a me! <laughs> yeah, hey, baby. Buddy. How's Hi. it going? Michael, you're yeah. here too. Yeah, I know. You didn't, you're, you didn't introduce yourself. <laughs> no, I, I said I'm your dungeon, your dungeon master. master. Everyone shut up. Bachman, take take the stage. T- uh, Get on up there, buddy. Uh, uh, show uh, us what you're, show us your goods. No, I'm, I'm afraid. Whip Bachman, it out. we believe in you. Do we need a clap? 
the Tinkerbell? Yeah, if you believe. No, don't clap. That's too loud. Rub your hands together in a very ASMR. Oh, I don't way. like that. If you believe, clap them cheeks. Um. Hey, <laughs> yeah, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us here. I just want to tell you about a little project that I'm working on. Can right you now. sing it? Can you sing the whole thing? Yeah, you know what that. You know what that's like, Michael. Uh, oh yeah, comedian, huh? Go on, tell us a joke. Tell me a joke. <laughs> it's like the time that my super drunk uh, uh, New Hampshire uh, aunt was like, "Do improv in front of me." <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a clownfish, huh? Hey, y'all see that movie? Uh, if you have not. If you've been living under a rock and haven't seen my three tweets about it, uh, I am currently running a Kickstarter for a project called Roll for Streetwise, where I'm working with band Glass Beach, who uh, <laughs> who who StereoGum.com, which is a website about music, I think, uh, but they got a lot of followers, so that's pretty good. Uh, they named them one of the top 40, uh, 40 bands of 2019. Um, oh, and, and like a wow. decent position on the list too. Not like uh, <laughs> they, yeah, they weren't. They're not. They're not number forty. Uh, but no, they're they're an excellent band. Um, we we hooked up. I met uh, met their drummer in L.A. Um, and we've kind of been uh, we kind of been talking and working on it. And we're going to be making an album based on the podcast. Uh, we got Kickstarter podcast? running right now. What's that? This podcast. This podcast. Yeah. The one oh, that we're on. So a uh, little, little little taste. We've got. Um, I've got a song about how I'm full of shit and incompetent. I've got a song. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do an anime, uh, an anime intro for Scud with Japanese lyrics. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, I got. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a uh, butterfly kisses style thing we got working on. Um, <laughs> there's there's some good stuff going on here. It's rollforstreetwise.com. You can go to that website right now and make sure that this happens. Do it. Uh, the the song that you've released already, I feel like it sounds like a song your therapist would tell you to write to me. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, my, my therapist. therapist or your therapist <laughs> your would tell therapist. me to write to you? <laughs> yes. It's like, tell this asshole to shut up. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, yeah, please, please give our good boy, Mike Bachman, uh, your your hard-earned cash so he can make a, a sweet sweet album um it's, it's really a reward for yourself it? yeah the you deserve I, th it? I think the coolest thing honestly about this is that uh, if we get funded that's going to help um that's going to help glass beach go on tour but that tour is going to end in uh in columbus during geeklycon 2020 so we'll be doing a live show that uh, we're going to basically sing the entire album um they're going to perform some of their music it's gonna be really good. Uh, it'll allow them to come and uh, do a song as part of the GeeklyCon live show, um, as well as uh, release this album on CD, vinyl. It's gonna be really good. That's that like good shit. Yeah. Get up Exciting. on this Kickstarter while you can. Please. Do it, you fool. You coward. you coward. So that so that I can be one of the top forty bands of 20, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> If, if or one of the bottom person, the bottom 40 if every person that listened to our podcast on september 26 gave 50 <laughs> cents that's all it would take that is, you know? that is all it would take so simply get your ass over to the kickstarter and give you know i just quite get some more dollars don't give just 50 cents when was the new ios thing released did that do something <laughs> Timon's haunted by the fact that one day we got doubled. <laughs> one day we got doubled. There wasn't any like ramp. It was just one day, September 26th, twice as many Something downloads. Happened. <laughs> September 27th, back to normal. Anyways. Rollforstreetwise.com. World's, World's yeah, a crazy place. I, I kickstarted it, and I legit think you, that song reminds me of Ben Folds. It's so good. It's I've had it in my, my head, head for like yeah. weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah, so when, when, we started working on the, uh, when we started working on the project, I was like, hey, I do a bunch of parodies. I'd like to do more than that. And we started with the idea of doing like style parodies. So that mm -hmm. like where it sounds like other bands. And I think we've kind of like, we're still doing a little bit of that, but I think we've started to go into some more original territory. Uh, yeah. But that one, we were definitely, we were targeting something similar to uh, Ben Fold's Army. Because that was what, yeah. that was a song that I wanted to do for the yes. GeeklyCon live show next year. Okay. And I love that yeah. song. Yeah. You, well, you're kicking ass and I'm proud of you. And it, it makes me cry to think about how cool it is. Agreed. I, 
Y'all hear that horn outside? That's me. <laughs> that that horn goes off every <laughs> time. Also, every time somebody street. backs Roll for Streetwise, that horn yeah. is going to go off. So yeah. go over there yeah. and make your donations <laughs> right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do we have any other fun stuff to talk about? I'm still playing um, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus with my writer artist pals um, on every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Uh, on our Geekly channel, so on Twitch channel. And it's also on YouTube, so it's twitch.tv slash geeklyinc and youtube.com slash geeklyinc if you want to get uh, caught up. But mostly it's for people who are bored at work or live in other time zones that cannot catch us live right now every other Thursday. Or who have different work schedules. For Gapcast, exactly. So uh, it's a um, Twitch first show, so that means I'm using Roll20, and you get to see me basically relearn Roll20, <laughs> and you get to see like, all the stuff I see without them seeing it. So uh, it's a whole lot of fun, and uh, our group is great, and the module is really fun. So yeah. Um, here's, here's, a fun, every here's, a, here's a fun message. If you're, uh, if you're one of the people, if you haven't gotten your copy of Drinks and Daggers yet, and you haven't gotten an email from me, then you're one of the 19 people who has never filled out any survey or responded to any email. And I would like to send your game, please respond to me. <laughs> Michael, that's I please. You, please respond. Please. Michael, that's your fault. You should have gone to their home. Who are these people who gave me money and <laughs> don't want their game? Please. Probably Justin McElroy. No, he got his. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, who wants to roll the d20? I do. I fucking love to roll a d20. Roll that. Roll Big that. Big honking one. Let's see what happens. I got an 8. I got a 10. Ah! I got a 19. <laughs> I don't know why I took notes last time. I got a 16. I... It's a good no, roll, I Jennifer. Notes. Good job, me. Okay. So, we, last time, we moved on to the next stage of our journey in the artifact hunt. Um, so we shifted to the elemental plane of fire. Um, I've noted here, very important, we have a pool of six healing potions and we each have one fire resistance potion. I think we're gonna need that here. I also noted that it's hot as fuck in, in this place. <laughs> uh, we believe this is the city of brass. There's a bubble around it that stops non-fire elementals from getting burnt. Uh, and we fought four beefy Darth Maul-esque dudes. Um, yes? Is it a scimitar or a, sh a shimitar? Uh, a yes. scimitar. Skimmy, skimmy tars. A scimitar. A, a, a arced sword situation. They are real decked out in jewels and shit, and I, I think we beat them. Beat <laughs> Is what them. happened you, at the You end. beat them handily. Yeah, I, we, I think we were like, doing big ass kickings upon their little Darth Maul bums. And I think that's what happened last time. I think we mostly fought Devil Mans. That is that Fuck. is what happened last time. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that, here's what I forgot to do and why I was laughing because um, thank you, uh, Bell Maria thirteen, in the chat for reminding me, and thank you Tim for reminding me to pull names before the podcast i <laughs> i am incapable of doing this um he doesn't want uh, anyone to get denied he's trying to keep them all for himself it's part of the tr it's like a, a puzzle hunt uh this uh we're giving away dice for our beautiful uh patreon subscribers uh from dieharddice.com uh our Love die official hard dice. our official dice um if you uh if you're a patron a patron you you might want one of these um, I guess win's the wrong word. Uh, it's a gift, the thank you gift. Um, and this week, the winner is Adrian F. And I don't know where you live, but I will message you on Patreon. So thank you. And, and I said your name wrong. Andrew F. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Andrew, Adrian. Andrew F. Adrian F. is so mad right now. That's messed up. Yeah, I'm sorry, Adrian F. Um, Andrew, F, I will send you a message on Patreon, and you'll get a code for a Die Hard Dice. Thank you. Nice, nice. Now to remember to do that. Nice for dice. What are the odds? <laughs> well, maybe 
who, whoever reminded you in Twitch, we should remind Please. Michael. Of remind us. We, we all got, our brains are so full of worms. Yeah, Bachman has <laughs> been like, have you done this thing that you told me you would do? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, did you do it today? I was like, no. Nope. <laughs> I, you know what? The thing is, I like on the... On one level, I really want to feel slighted, but I also know that if the tables were turned and the situation was reversed, yeah. the ex it'd be exactly the same. <laughs> You'd be do like, you "Did you do this?" Like, I'd be like, "No." <laughs> do you ever have a moment of just like pure panic where you let wash over you all the different things you owe people that you haven't gotten them yet? Oh my god! I owe one of our fans a copy of Ghost of Salt Marsh for like nine months, mm. and then I, I was like, "Wait, I have your address, but I'm not sure if it's you that won Salt Marsh." And then the other people just don't talk. Like, don't give me their addresses. I'm going to get canceled. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's not talk about it. Let's play D&D. I've emailed you twice. <laughs> Why did you do that to me right before? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a list. And I will not be checking Often, it twice. Your beard has grown out. It's grown yeah, a, t too far out, I think. That's personally. a fluffy beard. Sounds like you need something okay. for your balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. We've been yapping enough. Let's play some friggin' D and D. Okay. I was in character the whole time. Um. So yeah. So you are, you are being ushered right now through the gates of uh, City of Brass. That was where you are. Michael, can you remind me? Did the did, did the the Beef Boys just like we beat them? They we beat their booties so bad they were like, okay, fine, we'll take you in. Yeah. Or okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were they were terrified um, at the very fast beating that they took and they were like please please don't kill us we'll we'll take you inside and um and please stop killing us because we're dying yeah. toby please, hired them as bodyguards did we give them anything uh, we'll see <laughs> he just felt like conscripting but oh no they tried to murder us i'm like how about this how about instead of me killing you you're my bodyguard how about i little john you right now <laughs> Robin Hood callback. Someone out there is or, like, I've heard of Robin Hood. Okay. Maybe it's little John the Rapper. Okay. Who can say? Okay. Who, who can say maybe okay. with us? <laughs> Alright, Michael, what do you got? Show us your um, magic punk. Okay, so you enter the city of brass. Um, it is as advertised. You bet your brass, brass it is. <laughs> Better fucking be. <laughs> I want to refund. <laughs> um, it is. Uh, it is hot. It. Uh, it smells vaguely of of sulfur and heated metal, um, and uh, it is. It is full of of life. It is full of activity. There are. are this is actually in the elemental plane. All of the elemental planes. This is kind of like the hub. Um, this is where the like one place where merchants can actually show up and not die um what's the I'm uh asking... what's what's the music oh, scene what's, yeah. the music what's, what's the music scene in this place where most Isley type of music playing like what kind of instruments um, are they using i think it's probably Rihanna. metal <gasps> oh i like that mm, brass music so it's like or, 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 yeah, or just stop. all trumpets <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, i was thinking hurdy gurdy but people hell. are skanking no, everywhere <laughs> i do I not forgot. like it here <laughs> i'm casting um, presentation on my cloak as much as i can mm. to make it cold what's that do um, it chills uh, up to one cubic foot of non-living material and oh. i'm wearing my not living cloak today do you want me to do chill touch on your please don't <laughs> What am I? I an old give yonky man? <laughs> a ghostly skeletal hand grabs your cloak. <laughs> well, I'm totally dead. well, I got four more. Uh so there are there are tall buildings literally made of, of metals. Um there are merchants through on the streets. There's there you've got every kind of race you can imagine. Uh there's, you know, you've got your they humans, you've got your dwarves, you've got your elves. Um you but there are also lots of sort of elemental based things there's ifriti uh all over the place um there are also um janasi mostly <gasps> uh, like uh, like a scud <gasps> um, not as many like scuds specifically more of them are the fiery ones know, the, the fiery ones 
But... Does Scud steam? Yeah, Scud <gasps> steaming. Scud is like a raisin right now. He's like, oh, uh, oh, I'm sure. Like... I'm a, I'm an I'm old Scud, old man Scud. That's oh, what God, I look like right now. <laughs> Much less gravitas than say old man Logan, but like kind of the same vein. You can always tell when our episodes are recorded. For instance, this one was recorded in what, 1995, 2004? <laughs> Listen, I don't know why, but something brought up bitter beer face to my brain. <laughs> you like kids. Uh, now that you're Fortnite's dead. Yeah, if you're like younger than like, I don't know, probably 32. <laughs> <laughs> Your bones don't hurt, and you don't have depression. You Google like bitter beer fix. <laughs> if your bones don't hurt and you don't have depression, <laughs> Michael, can I buy a souvenir? There, wait, here? I'm still saying things. There, there, trams. <laughs> there, uh, there's trams like uh, things on rails, uh, much like our D and D game. Um, <laughs> and, Fuck uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but also um there's there's sort of like like bioshock infinite sort Ooh. of uh thing like uh what do you call those skylines Things, skylines where people are like zipping along them and... that was so cool i mean <laughs> a, you and could say like apex legends everywhere. if you wanted to be a little more like current hmm no, it's fine. You know what, Michael? It's fine. It's fine. I just want to appeal to the teens. So saying Apex Legends, you know, they got something similar. Okay. The zip lines. No? Sure. No? The zip it's lines. Like, um, it's just like that. Uh, there's also, um, there's you've got airships sort of trundling along. Uh, it is it is a technological wonderland. Wow. Do we like, uh, for are you. we shit before or like have we heard about it you've seen like an you own an airship but you've seen like oh, a well, single I airship I, <laughs> I was confused about I What's assume that? the trams is more than part i don't think you've ever seen a tram before <laughs> but we do have an airship that is very interesting well remember, the airship about. is from nareev it is magic it is yeah. from nareev yes michael Maybe how I'll... fast does a tram go in this world um not as fast as lonnie I was gonna say, I feel like Lonnie would be like, guys, that that wagon there, it's going all on its own. I'm gonna go catch it, and she like will just run off, and then <laughs> I don't know. Help me. Help me. The track. Now you do see a tram, and it's speeding towards five people, and you can pull a lever, ah! and that'll make it diverge and kill one person instead. What do you do? I let it kill the five people. <laughs> Both. They're it's all your murderers. Fault. You're not involved. <laughs> yeah. I, pull the lever until half of the cars of the tram go down the one track, then switch it back real fast so the other cars go down the other track. Yeah, <laughs> everyone dies. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep all of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Toby is obviously freaking out. This is such a a, a cool time to be alive. Hello, baby. Um. Uh, hey. Say hello. Oh, Hello. <laughs> just, yeah, just smash it. Did you go bonk? <laughs> it's fine. Was that funny? Are you good with that? Don't touch the uh, mic. That's fine. bad. Actually, that's bad that's form. That's actually bad. <laughs> you gotta start teaching her good audio uh, uh, like etiquette. Who's sleeping? Yeah. <gasps> who's sleeping? Oh yeah. the The actual Twitch stream is on my other monitor and it's paused and Michael's eyes are shut. Yeah, he's asleep. Uh, he's sleeping. So. <laughs> No, he's dead. He's okay. Dead. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> say, say, rollforstreetwise.com. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a tough one. She <laughs> tried. She tried. That was all right. Yeah, so Toby uh, is freaking out. Like, oh my God, they have their tubular regulators, don't even require a muzzle forge. And then Toby's like, and their trains like, go real fast. <laughs> What is, what is with these trains? That's Toby Four. I've decided. Oh my god! <laughs> what is with these trains? Oh, a train hits Toby Four. No! Oh, well, he turns into a pile of straw. And it's no. Or Toby Three. Which one's here? I don't remember. Is Mr. Red a chat? Well, we know for sure that Hobie's here. Hobie's here. I think Rowan is still holding Hobie. <laughs> Rowan just imprinted upon Hobie immediately. 
<laughs> oh God, is Rowan gonna marry Toby or Hobie whenever? You no, know? it's a very like Rowan's like this is my pet now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, not a love, not a romantic love, but and I must protect this yes. horrible creature. I'm definitely gonna be feeding Hobie scraps under the table. <laughs> Toby three is here. I don't know what I said last episode, but I think we have to go forward and say that Toby three is here. I'm retconning it. Um, You're allowed. I've decided. The triumphs go so fast. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we here? I forget why we're here. I'm so distracted. Can I have three days before we do whatever we need to do? What? Toby, no. Hmm. What? Toby, Toby, are you okay? The Rowan kind of like bends down and like looks at me like, are you okay? Look at all the, the, the cool things. I could spruce up the Tower of Grey. I could figure out how to make the Dirty Deeds Sun dirt cheap. Uh, deal with headwinds in a way that can never be floor. We won't ever have to crash on a mountain again. I like mean, that one yeah, it's, we could definitely like buy some shit while we're here, but uh, we're here to, you know, get more pieces of the artifact. Okay. All right, well, let's save the universe, or the multiverse, and then... I want to. I want to make some friends. We could like save the universe, like ninety percent here. Take a little break, do a little shopping. Yeah, do the last tip. Uh, I forget. Do we know where who we need to talk to? Um, at that, as you say that, you uh, you hear a huge roar, Ooh. and you realize it's a giant. Must be must be a giant crowd, um, in this central coliseum. Oh, Michael, can I pay? the uh strapping young lads who um to uh, as a thank you for escorting us i turn to the people that tried to murder us last episode and say thank you so much for escorting us and i'm sorry about that little dust up i hope the souls and spirits of your friends rest in peace uh here's a hundred gold uh enroll yourself in a nice university and uh, if we ever need your services again, where should we find you? Uh, I mean, I'd prefer never to see you again. But if we wanted to, you know, get more bodyguards, mm -hmm. where should we go? Um, just whisper into the wind. Uh, <laughs> say, e free tea, and I will be there, I promise. I think he's lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do a perception check on that. Can, Can I ask you something weird, right, my friend? My my friend, uh, all that I need from you is a lock of each of your hair. No, no. Do you have hair? Give me your hair. They're not really like they're like spirit people, right? Well, yeah, they've got hair. Okay, it's spirit hair. Yeah, I I I I I have um Hobie kind of fly up and uh, uh take each of their hairs uh toby another one of his uh, new plants <laughs> is now that he has the um wait uh, you mean worm? a hair from each of them right yeah not every single one of their hairs individually oh, no i don't need that he just up and just... <laughs> that's a bit that's much awesome. uh toby is starting a hair encyclopedia so that he can use his crystal ball <laughs> to check in on um oh. evildoers have you ever seen the batman which I, one i feel like the one with the joker dark and i'm scared <laughs> um he definitely will swat at at hobie if he comes near his head <gasps> don't shit you. well i made chance i was punching the head an accident uh before we started recording and like was, we were joking like sometimes jennifer and i joke of like what if i did xyz horrible, horrible thing? like terrible thing uh yeah. And I just did the, I throw my mage hand out motion and my angle is almost wrong. And I, hey, almost, punched I almost got face. punched in the face on the stream hurt. and I could have gotten you canceled. That would get, uh, if if so, I were to uh, summon lesser demons, one of them would get the hair. No. <laughs> uh, Michael, I catch mage hand to take hair. Okay, you pluck a hair and he runs away. That is very like ominous thing to do to someone, by the way, to be like, where can I find you in the future? And I'm going to take your hair. <laughs> oh, I don't tell them that. They, I don't tell you guys that either. Your characters don't know about my hair encyclopedia. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to forget that piece of information. But... I probably wouldn't. I I would have to take your. You, I probably would ask for your hair, a piece of your hair, or say, "Oh, look, a piece of your I hair." I would assume take you this. wanted to put it in a locket to remember me. <laughs> Lonnie asks for everyone's hair, and she just eats it. No, and we will Lonnie. be together forever, <laughs> or at least the next eight to twelve hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, let's go see what this commotion is. Surely that might have something to do with what we need. 
Um, okay. You uh, you uh, you're walking down a street. Let's say it is the um um the street of steel. It is full of smithies, <laughs> and um, there's lots of loud banging noises as people are making uh, all sorts of wondrous metal creations. Oh, smithies. Uh, I thought you said sniffies, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm going to write it in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> smithies. I'll investigate this later. That's what Michael calls cocaine. He used to live in New York City <laughs> during the dot-com bubble. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, you... Um, there's there's a huge crowd in front of this coliseum. It seems like people are trying to get in, um, and it's just like this gigantic line. And uh, it seems like there's there's something some sort of martial activity happening mm -hmm. inside. And people are cheering and ooing and aahing and all sorts of things. How tall is the coliseum? Ah, mm. uh, very tall. Like so we can't see we can't see what's happening in there. Like coliseum in Rome. Okay. Okay. Uh, Michael, I would like to take 12 seconds, run to the Coliseum, run up. I can run up walls. Um, oh, yeah. Up the wall and be at the top and see what's going on. Observe 18 seconds if need be. And I would have Hopi latch on to uh, Lonnie. I've been training uh, him in the past couple days uh, how to uh, not get uh, ripped apart by Lonnie's forces. She always cradles the neck and head. Now, well, unless Scud, unless it's with Scud, like yeah, we were doing last you're probably time. like, well, it, uh, Nika, is it okay if Hobie would Lonnie let Hobie crawl underneath her tube top in a way that yeah. wasn't uncomfortable? Like in the for back, Lonnie? yeah. So yeah. there's like a like a, a baby belt, Bjorn. A baby Bjorn, yeah. Well, yeah, or we could maybe figure out a way to like get Hobie in the ferret, but his head is out or something. Okay, okay. So it's almost like a little kangaroo pouch. <laughs> Well, First, if you want to carry the dogs in their bag, yes, <laughs> <It's a hobby. laughs> Now, Nika, when Lonnie runs up the side of this building, do all of the windows shatter needlessly? Yes. <laughs> Are there windows on the Coliseum, Michael? Absolutely not, Michael. <laughs> Does it dust? Dust comes out. It just will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. We'll say ash. Yeah. Oh shit. Do I need to roll a perception, Michael, once I get to the top? You do not need to roll a perception. Okay. <laughs> um, it, it seems to be a, uh, a, uh, some sort of martial competition. Like I said, it's uh, two people are facing off. Um, and there's, uh, there's actually two people sort of far away from each other. And in between them, there are monsters made of bones fighting each other. Whoa! Oh, this is right up Scud's alley. Scud's gonna love this little Hobie. <laughs> I feed him a bite of egg salad sandwich. I feed them a bite of egg salad sandwich. Tim, play your character. Sorry. Our cat is well now. Hobie doesn't here. talk. He was looking at the, 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 the Paul's newspaper. You have to make <laughs> Hobie noises. There you go. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Okay, I um, like I said, I observe for six seconds. I run back, and then I tell y'all there are two people in there fighting. But then, and Scud, I think you will really enjoy this. They I'm have listening. Monsters of bones in there. They have bones in there. Monsters of bones in there, like you're like Akio and like like Uto. skeletons. Yeah, yeah. Bones. <laughs> Michael, can I roll like a nature check to see if the monsters look like anything? Sure. My skeletons don't like to be referred to as monsters. <laughs> uh, no, these were monsters. Uh, 14. I don't think... um, they were definitely, they did, seemed like different monsters that were, like one was maybe like a ogre and the other okay. one was oh. some sort of four-legged creature you don't recognize. Yeah, I think I see an ogre and something else weird. Maybe there's some sort of net. Uh, can I uh, religion check? Ooh, that was much better. Uh, Twenty-two. Uh, what do I know of the religions of these parts? Um, hmm. I don't know. It's a good <laughs> question. 
It's not a very religious area. It's all about ele okay. elemental. Uh, what I, instead of asking broadly, specifically, I want to know: Is there any reason to believe there's any ne necromantic stuff here? Is that normal or what? Uh, I mean, you would say this is definitely necromancy. Right, right. But like, certain. from what I know of the plane of brass, do I know anything about like, oh, they don't give a shit about necromancy or whatever? Uh, yeah, you uh, you would know that that uh, this is totally cool here, and in okay. fact, um, you know, you, it is uh, it is a competition, it is a sport. Cool. Yeah, because I feel like in the Feywild they probably wouldn't be chill with that. So I was just yeah. kind of curious. If... Mm. Cool. Thank you. By Rhaegar's blade, I would love to see this competition. I. For sure forgot he was with us. I know. I wanted to make it clear. So I'm saying a random thing now. You have a friend with you. We have lots of friends with us. Everyone's a friend. You just ain't met him. I think so I've true, said that Oni. before and I will keep saying it. That's so true. I'm Toby Three. Well, let's go. What are we waiting for? Are we in line? We don't wait in line. Oh, I don't think we can just talk to a new place and just walk to the front of the line. <laughs> We're gonna get our asses kicked. Uh, Lonnie, do do roll a perception for me. Okay. Oh, oh man, that was almost a seventeen. Twenty-one. Um, when you were up, when you were up top, uh, you definitely recognize that this. So this is the main entrance. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of people here, and it's a big clusterfuck. But um, there's definitely going to be more entrances around back oh, that uh, were not classic. not so crowded. Okay, y'all. I think I found um, like a, a loading bay kind of area that maybe oh. we could go. Oh, into. we know all about that. <laughs> <laughs> and go, go back. Masters of the loading bay. When I said and to as Toby that we don't wait in lines, I think I meant we <laughs> don't wait in lines. <laughs> that is sort of our special uh, a thing we do whenever we go to a, a dumb we thing like a We do pass. constantly do that. The time that we walked, you guys weren't with us, but the time that we walked through the back entrance of Pax East, it was the most. That was great. I, yeah, I was I there was, for that one. I was there for that. It was like. Yeah. And Josh, yeah, yeah, right here, right? yeah. Y'all remember so bonkers? Just yeah. confidently walked into the back of the the Boston Convention Center. No one said shit to us. They looked at the non media badge person's badge, and then he said they're with me. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember when we did that at a visitation? Just went in the back so we could cut right to the front of the line. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got harassed and had porn in our trunk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. We go. Yeah, go. Let's go. Different door. Okay. Um. So you head around back, and uh, there's actually a, a a ring of people in the back, and it seems like there's like a little battle happening here. <gasps> a mini fight. And um, and there's a there's a a dude and he's sort of confidently um uh bleh. david go ahead and, and edit out all my pauses um <laughs> there's a dude and he's sort of confidently commanding a uh, a large skeleton and its arms are made of metal and um oh, uh, hell yeah and there's a, a smaller dude with his hat on backwards <laughs> and he's like go bo naga and he like <laughs> He holds up a card, and a giant bone snake comes out of it, and um, almost immediately gets its head smashed in. This is just Pokemons. Is this Skellymons? A... Michael, is this the same game that Scud would remember, except with real skeletons? Uh, it is very similar to the game that you remember playing as a youth. But like, are my cards tournament legal? You don't have any cards with you. What? I always have the cards with me. I, I retconned it. <laughs> That's not your character man. sheet. You said I didn't have them, and I, but I need com material components for all my spells. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. These cards are, are, are they don't look exact. They look like big 
<laughs> versions of uh, of the cards you had as big you bone Dick. cards. Dick. Are so... they long or they short? Dick. Oh hell yeah! They're thick. <laughs> this episode is for no one it's but us. Literally, we are, <laughs> we are having the best time yeah. making. I don't think the audience is gonna like it, but like we're it. having a great time. We're having a very fun time tonight. <laughs> it's like inside jokes, but just for us. <laughs> Listen, we're allowed to do this sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there any place around that's like maybe selling cards? Can I get a box, ooh. like some booster packs? Uh, not immediately visible, but you know, maybe. Okay. But um, so this huge metal arm skeleton smashes down on this bone snake, and then kicks it, <gasps> and it like comes apart, and it like blasts into um his it's a uh, you know trainer master whatever it is mm. and sort of knocks him down he's got a bloody nose i don't like the term and, master uh, and uh the um Coach. the other the other confident fellow Wilbert. walks over and holds out his hand and um and this guy puts his head down and, and hands over a card to him damn and uh and then he walks away and the crowd hey, kind of I'm sorry. I really thought that they were gonna do like a moment with like good sportsmanship, where they were gonna like <laughs> shake hands, and then yeah. you're like, he steals his card. And I'm like, crushed. <laughs> and uh, the crowd sort of disperses, and this this uh, guy is just sort of sitting on the ground, looking the, the loser? disheveled. Scott 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 wants to talk to him. Scott's gonna walk over. He's like, <laughs> you should have known that was gonna happen. Marrow is always weak against cartilage. <laughs> oh, you're a bone mancer, I see. <laughs> well, I, do, I don't like to brag, but I've had a few bone battles in my day. Well, I would have won, but my best card was stolen by the Ballista Twins. You sound hot. <laughs> Are they hot? What? Are the hot here? <laughs> <laughs> Becky and Bert Ballista, are they hot? Becky and Bert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It... <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh I I don't know. Sure. I don't <laughs> think about people like that. I mostly think about bones. Oh, they're like <laughs> Team Rocket, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you saying that because I wasn't there yet. Well that's <laughs> another one of our things I didn't want, now i say it when i realize it and i tell people how slow i am because i don't want to have another dreadwing behemoth situation <laughs> <laughs> that was real and not fake where we realized oh this is thanksgiving at the very end of the episode yeah that was 100 real mm -hmm. i'm scud what's your name my name it's dodge grab it <laughs> ash catch him ash catch him <laughs> We see how Dodge is the same as Ash, but I love it more than anything. <laughs> Dodge, grab it. Dodge, grab it. <laughs> I'm going to be saying that's the, uh, my sleep paralysis demon's name. That's better than most alone for sure. Yeah. Mo what? <laughs> Say, Dodge, do you know where I can get some of those cards around here? A, like a bone, like a real tournament legal bone card? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I, all I have is my old cards and they got all these rules that you can't use anymore and they don't summon bone monsters oh you mean like the children's game from drunkeros it's not a children's game but yes <laughs> oh these are these are very different than that it's not the same thing listen you can't just get a card listen you fuck i want in well, I tell you what, you can help get my card back, my best really good card back from the Ballista Twins. I can give you a number of blank cards that you'll be able to use to capture your own monsters. I think I have just the thing, and I pull out my spell book, and I, I start flipping through the pages, and I see this here. This is called Summon Lesser Demons. <laughs> this can get your card back. All right. If you think a lesser demon's going to do it. Yeah, but it's a lot of them. Well, you can only have 
six cards in a term illegal. Do you even know the real rules? <laughs> no, but this is the demons that Are you they bone demons? I'm sure they have bones. I've never I've never checked. Actually, my, I'm being stupid. You can suck a, a bone a demon into a card. They become a bone demon. That's how it works. Really, the monsters can be anything. You could even be a person. Cool. Uh... Oh, oh, oh! I, you know, I'm sorry. I'm up to speed. You want me to battle him and get your card back? I was just gonna jump the guy. You can jump. That's fine. Jump him. I don't care. I mean, shit. Yeah, I guess I, could, I guess I could battle him. <laughs> we can, we can do this your way. Okay. Yeah. Do you even know? Let me just run down the rules for you. I'm dying to tell you. Yes, it's <laughs> X X X X X boring. Skip. Yeah. Ah, yes, a tutorial. Yes, please. <laughs> so the reason they use these cards is it keeps things fair. Um, you have to actually capture a monster into the card. And uh, if, uh, yeah, oh, I already said that, didn't I? Um, Hell yeah. So, so you go in and then you battle until all of your, you either just beat all of the other guys or gals or whatever's monsters or yours get all knocked out. That's how it goes. And right now in there, there's a, there's a match going for the great tournament. Like a you, like a qualifier? No, there is a qualifier though. There's a very intricate thing. There's a there's a, if you have to do be, win about a hundred matches, and if you win a hundred matches, then you get a coin with a skull on it, which means you can take on the elemental masters. There's one on each plane. <gasps> It's a, do, do you know what these look like? Do you have like a picture that I can use to compare? I mean, see what they look like. Um, I mean, I'd know one if I saw it, but I don't have. A I'm furiously rummaging around in my pockets, and I'm like, oh, mm, oh no, where's my coin purse? Oh God! And I look in a bag of holding, and I shove my whole head in the bag of holding, and like <laughs> bones are falling out. And I'm like, I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> and I pull, I pull out a coin, but it's just like a some other currency, and then I pull out. The coin with the with the skeleton on it. Is this it? What? Why? Did you just? How? I'm an old pro. You, just, you see? Are you just playing me? You you must be a master if you have one of those. <laughs> well, I am. I'd still like you to give me that tutorial just so I can make sure you understand the game to my for level. Your, for your friends. Yeah, for my friends. Hi. What's happening? Game. <laughs> Okay, I want to know well, more about the technology of how you capture. You st do you steal people's souls? Is that what's happening? Well, they go into a demi plane and all their skin is removed. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. You can take them back out and their skin comes back. I don't know how it works. So your <gasps> creature there that got <gasps> destroyed. What was it? A bone naga. And it got it started as a bone. Oh, it was a bone. Wait. And it grew? I don't understand the rules. Understand. I'm pretty well, no, smart. It was a bone. It's already a bone creature. Oh. So, like, could we become bone creatures? <laughs> you could. Would we die? Kind of. Do we come but back? Then you would come back. It'd be fine. As, like, a real person? Like, normal, though. Sure. I think would so. Hurt? Would what? we're skinned alive? Oh, yeah. I don't know. If you die, uh, in the God, game, you die there's no die. there's I would just say there's nothing in the rules really about pain per se. So, you know, like what's what's the effect of gameplay if you suffer unimaginable torment? I would say it's very it's very low. It so gives you all you should a reason to fight harder, I guess. You know? Yeah, like, y'all should become my bone. Yeah. <laughs> become my playing anyway. cards. <laughs> that coin allows you to take on the elemental masters. There's one in the plane of earth, one in the plane of wind, one in the plane of water, and then there's the one here in the plane of fire. But you have to beat all the other ones before you can take on the plane of fire, because that's Lucius Incendus himself. The that's king inconvenient. Realm. <laughs> We're already here. Inconvenient. Well, sorry, but if you defeat him, you get your granted access to the Elite Forge, where all of your dreams <laughs> are true. <laughs> Are you gonna give it a better, bigger pause? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Try it again. 
<laughs> Everybody act like you haven't heard it before. <laughs> Where you're granted access to the Elite Forge. Huh? <laughs> 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 He's so pleased with himself. This is very funny, Michael, and I'm very pleased with you. I kind of don't want to. I want to hear you explain everything like this going forward. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Do we? So I get. I can have six cards in my in my hand in my deck or my hand. In your well, you can. Yeah, you can bring six cards into the battle. Okay. Yeah, and I can. How do what do I do with them in the battle? <laughs> you you use them to battle the other person's. Do they have like monsters. moves? Of course they have moves. Hell yeah, I like this game already. I mean, I've played hundreds of matches, but <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's my favorite. Um, did did anything? How long have you lived in this city? Me in yeah. this city? That's a great question. All my life. Perfect. How old are you? I'm 13 years old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to be the answer. Um, has anything gotten weird uh, in the city in the past, I don't know, month or two? Mm, in what way do you mean? <laughs> well, some of the, the other planes, uh, we're not from around here, have been experiencing strife. Maybe uh, invaders... Uh, from another uh, uh, plane, maybe, maybe a, a changing government, maybe, maybe in small ways that are hard to tell. Tim, Not that I, I know of. Oh, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> at first, I thought you were still trying to figure out the Spotify thing. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Dodge drive it on September twenty sixth. <laughs> are going to answer to me. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. Is your Naga going to be okay or Nope, he's dead. <gasps> Fuck. So you just they just Wait, die. Yep. Can't you just bring them back? Their bones. I could if he hadn't taken my card. Oh. oh. So took... Wait, so who did you just fight there? Oh, that's fucking Gary. Still Wait, is, Wait, is that his, is it is that his first and last name? <laughs> his first name is fucking and his last name is Gary. Freaking Gary! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm afraid to ask, how did he get his name? <laughs> I I guess his parents gave it to him. This baby is That's his, that's his Christian Gary. name. <laughs> uh, also, took your card and he can summon Bone Naga, but your Bone Naga is dead? No, is my Bone Naga is dead. He can use that card to capture another creature and put oh. it into the car. Wow. That's messed up, man. This is complicated. It I is. like it, though. But I have a better monster. It's a Draco Lich, and it was stolen by Becky and Bert Ballista. <laughs> they live in a volcano. <laughs> So is your whole thing that you use like bone creatures that are like I don't understand why you're using bone creatures that turn into bones. It Wait, here's that. Here's that. Right? It's for fairness. Here's another oh, question: yeah. Is if 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 when he when your Naga died and he and the other dude took your card and it's just an it's just basically a blank card he can use to capture another one, you're gonna right. give me six of those cards. Yes. To. Why they don't sound very valuable then? That's all he got for beating They're you. Very valuable. <laughs> Can't Wait. you just capture your bone naga on another card though? I could get a bone naga, but they suck. Did you see that one? It got its ass kicked. <laughs> so why do you want us to steal your card back? No, it's a Draco Lich. It's no, so he doesn't want us to steal the blank. I I fell into that trap too. Okay, that, thank you. Well, Lonnie's not smart, so oh, <laughs> who's on first? This is the situation we have. <laughs> okay, so you want us to get back your VHS that has a movie on it, uh, but you're going to give us six empty VHSs. So if, we can record. So we can record yeah. our own monster. The, yeah. The on team. Yeah. I don't All know right. what a VHS All right, I'll do it. Do you know where I can find some tall grass? 
um, there's some fireweed in uh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's like, oh, yeah, let's light, light up some fireweed and go catch some bones. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you guys have only been in Hobie for about a day. Uh, I feel like uh, uh, it's uh, gonna last. Long. He's a he's a stoner. <laughs> um, what were two twins names? Becky. What was the other one? Bert. Bert. Yeah, Bert Ballista. Wow. Is it B E R T or B U R T? B U R T. Yeah, okay. I agree. Bert. So, all right. Bert, yeah, Bert. Is this a quest? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. Yeah, well, we need to fill up these cards, so we got to go out and grind. Look, if you could beat the master of this realm, whose name is Scroll, Scroll, Scroll. Lucifer, or whatever. Uh, Lucia, uh, Lucifer, uh, Furnace. Uh, Lucis Incendus. He's the king of the Ephrati. And I, I, he rules oh, this plane. Oh, Daddy. do it really? Um, maybe is your trophy? Does it look something like this? And I minor illusion what <laughs> one of the uh, pieces of the side of the orb look like. What does this look like anything to you, uh, small boy? Hmm. That doesn't look like anything to me. Thank Christ! I think I'm technically metagaming. Uh, but I bet you could find a thing like that in the Elite Forge where they have everything. I think we probably got to go there, right? See, check the lay of the land. I don't know. I might go. I might go to the library. Okay, that does sound like you. The Ooh, library. Real horny there. for them. I mean, we need to. We need to collect information to find this thing. We need, we should go to a tavern, a library. Who knows else? Scud's Scud's like. Uh, when you go to the library, give me a book on how to play this game. <laughs> I thought you had to play it. <laughs> this is a different game. It's not the same. <laughs> Okay, should we split up? Okay. Sure. I feel like yeah. Rowan doesn't like have an opinion about where to go right now. Someone Same. needs to go to to the tavern. If only someone was good at chatting with people and drinking a cocktail or two. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the magma go weed. to a tavern? Cocktail In addition with... to Hobie, he's coming with me. I hope he, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Toby 3 can go with you, Scud. Okay. I'll go wherever in and out of character. Wait, uh, Scud's going with Toby? Uh, or is, to is Scud going to go chase down the bone card lead? Yeah, he's going down. He's going to the magma weed to fill up his bone cards. Uh, oh, well, yeah, go uh, with fireweed. yeah, Lonnie, go with Scud. I'll go alone. Oh, is Wait, it fireweed? Like... Is it magma weed? Fire I'm gonna what kind of weed is it, Michael? I like there's both fire and magma weed. Oh, oh wow. shit! But what does okay, that do I'm to the IVs of my bones? I'm like I'll meet y'all later. <laughs> All right. All right. Take. <laughs> Hobie's going with me. Rowan to the bar. Toby three <laughs> is going with <laughs> you two, and I'm going alone. That's you guys. I don't like that you guys are going alone. Basically, I can't die. Well, I mean, nobody's going alone. Guess. Everybody's got a Toby. There's enough to go around. All right. Okay. <laughs> No, I forgot about you. Yeah, you come with me. I, I, but I'm with me and Hobie. We're good. Yeah, yeah you and Hobie. How about, the, yeah, well, maybe, okay. All right. I, if I need to, I'll just stand real still and no one can see me. That's so they true. will see Hobie, and that will be important. Yeah, Hobie but, can hide. Yeah, I'll Where put him under my uh, cape that I have now. Well, <laughs> chaps, should we go? Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? It's me, <laughs> Toby 3. Fuck. Wait, no, you're going with me, Toby 3. Yes. Yeah, you're, I said you to my chaps. Okay. Y'all are the chaps. You're the chaps. This guy talks weird. I'm leaving. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right, so who's going where? Library. Scud yeah, Scud is doing serpentine patterns through the fireweed. <laughs> He's just Rowan waiting for a Hobie random. Go to the bar or to the nearest tavern, I suppose. I'm oh, going to the tavern. Scud doesn't have a card to capture a monster with. Though. I thought he gave me six of them. He said he'd give no, me some. No, only they give you six if you get his card back. Oh. <laughs> so what happens if I get attacked by bones out here? I don't have any cards. <laughs> die, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> My punch attacks don't work. Wait. Okay. All right. So I got. I'm gonna go to a tavern because that's where adventurers go. To I just get... gotta be like. 
So. Man, I sure wish somebody would tell me what's going on. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm Please. so lost. My friends are going to be so mad if I don't help. <laughs> oh, wait. Dodge grab it here. <laughs> I, I just remembered why they have to be bones. <laughs> it's, it's so they can't sneak in any weapons. Oh. oh. So this is like Pokemon mixed with Battle Bots. Wait. What? What does that mean? I don't know. Dodge, do I have to? Uh, do I have to? Uh, um, do I have to beat them legitimately to get this card back, or can I just fuck it? You said you don't care. I can just steal it, right? No, they stole it from me. You can steal it from them. Okay, so I can have my my skeletons beat them up. And this is a good card. What? Your card. It's good. It's great. Would what if what? Okay, cool. You're what? not gonna take my card, are you? <laughs> Damn, I, mean, I wish I wouldn't have told you they're in the <laughs> volcano to the east with the giant bee <laughs> scorched onto the outside of it. <laughs> Scott is furiously scribbling as he says that. <laughs> the bee in Volcano 23. No, Ballista! Uh, Lonnie, <laughs> Lonnie, are you, you coming with me that? to get this I card? The bee in yeah. Volcano 23. I don't know what that means. That the is a, yeah. 23. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> We're stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, so what are we doing? What I want to go to uh, either a library or uh, a bunch of fucking uh, artificers guild or something like that. Okay, <laughs> chat. You decide. Do Do you want the next fifteen minutes of the podcast to be <laughs> <laughs> be a Scud look, and Lottie look, look. going to fight bone the bones and steal the card back, or Toby reading a book? <laughs> Rowan being awkward and horny in a library. That's true. In, in, in a tavern. I would never go to a library. No. But also, now I want to see Rowan be awkward and horny in a library. <laughs> Somebody help me read. Now, Which... Toby, it, it, when he goes to the library, he's going to be caught off guard by their version of Dewey Decimal System. Oh my gosh, I do a different That's going to be a whole couple episodes. <laughs> I'm trying not to be hurt by the fact that everybody in chat wants the library. <laughs> we set it up. <laughs> Like, of course they're gonna pick the boring one. <laughs> that sucks. Hell yeah! Who hasn't and been horny in a library? Library, but that's because I'm on Reddit too much. Mm. Been there. Been there. Uh, what's happening? I don't. I, Michael, okay. Michael you, you a library. You literally hey. do not have to role play anything for my end. Toby do, is just going to get information. All right. Well, we're gonna role play it though. Okay. All right. <laughs> Crack my fingers. Let's go, Rhaegar. Uh, wait, no, that's not your name. Uh, what's Rhaegar's your name? Scott. is Eckhart Dayhammer. <laughs> I turned to this dude I've been hanging out with for like <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, let's go, buddy. Let's go read about books and learn how to make these weird robots and stuff. Maybe we'll get naughty and make some blueprints of our own. By Rhaegar's missing bookmark, I'm with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, obviously uh, um, doing a little bit of carousing, Michael, mm -hmm. and seeing if I can chat with people. Maybe if uh, we pass a particularly interesting automaton or um, maybe a conductor or something like I want to go to either a library or someplace that's just as sexy, a uh, Artificer's Guild. Yes, Nika? Um, before Toby left, Lonnie would like to ask him a question real fast. If he is saying that he is going to the library. Yeah, I'm leaving. Toby, um, would you please see if the Scarlet Harlot newest edition is out? Whenever we were in prison, it was supposed to be released as uh -huh. per the back page. Uh -huh. um, I think whenever we were in hell um, on the bank retreat. So if it's there, would you steal? Yeah, what number is it? Steal it. I'll just rent it. Oh, it's, um, I, I, I can't remember. It's either. Uh, What's the ISBN? Didn't we met that god that told us that she was the author of it, right? Ayun. Yeah, Ayun. Ayun. I yeah, remember Ayun her. Yeah, Ayun the author of Scarlet Harlot. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and Michael, I want to <laughs> do something that I haven't done for quite a long time and invoke my backgrounds thing which is basically i fuck up with uh, i fuck up libraries uh since i'm a cloistered scholar uh, mm -hmm. you know it's fun to lean into your background uh, ability so he's a nerd oh, is Beeping. that someone 
signing up for the Kickstarter? Hell yeah. Yeah. Four people just signed up for the Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How about we do it this way? Every time the, a beep or a horn honks, somebody has to go sign up for the Kickstarter. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Someone will die. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, it is not far to uh, the closest library. Hello. Hi. You might know me. Uh, yes. Of... Oh, gosh. Uh, you might have heard of me. I'm Toby. Toby Trigaltar, and this is my friend Eckhart Dayhammer. We're adventurers. I have not heard of you. Hmm. Well, here's my, and I uh, slide forward, my um, White Spire library card that has all my various book stats, and Michael, my book stats are crazy good. Hmm. It says here your book stats are crazy good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we have to allow you into the restricted section. Well, I didn't even ask about that, but yeah, fuck yeah, buddy. Um, has I I want to learn a little bit about your your city. I want to the learn the latest little... issue of or the latest Scarlet Harlot. What is happening? <laughs> yes, I I do want that. And if you <laughs> let's say it on three, also a copy of How to Play That Bone Game. Uh, unfortunately. We only have one copy of the latest Scarlet Harlot and the uh, whatever year it is rules edition for the bone card game. Uh -huh. But they were both stolen by the Ballista twins, All Becky right. and Bert Ballista. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> cool. Beans. Well, um, we don't have to talk it out, but I want to ask you information about the city. And uh, <laughs> libraries, librarians know everything about the cities. They're like I the hot spot. I am a scholar. Yeah. So has anything been weird uh, in the, the city of Brass recently? We've we've traveled to many other planes, and there's some sort of planar war afoot. Hmm. We have reason to believe oh, it's yes. not safe here. Actually, I've heard tell of this, but it has not come to our doors yet. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm going to spend some time uh, doing some more research. I'd love to f uh, uh, read a book. Uh, oof. I really hope that you don't just have one copy on airships and how to make them more good if you're from the Prime Material plane, because... There's a whole section on that. Ooh, daddy. All right, I'm going to go there, and uh, all right, I don't have to it be the focus on me anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, who is next? Uh, I can go next. Yeah, you go next. All right, I I do a scan to see where the closest tavern is. Um, there is a tavern not far. There's lots of taverns. This is the uh, sporting district, what mm. with the Coliseum and all. Is there and, one that uh, has like a cool sign out front? A hip I mean, sign. What What do you What What? Oh, no, they're all hot. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> I think that Rowan would be into like. I, honestly, I think that Rowan would be into like like a club, like oh, really? a club situation. Club yeah, club. I was gonna try to make her be into cool stuff, but let's be real, <laughs> she's not. Well, there's this one tavern where um, inside of it, there's loud music, sort of belching out of it. And um, a sign is made of these weird glass tubes that seem to be glowing a strange Whoa. color. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Toby, that is the place for us, buddy. Um, but I do pull out from somewhere on my person little um, ear, ear plugs for Toby because I feel like this is going to be a loud place. And I got to, they're big though, because I feel like he has big ears. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has big ears. I'm just thinking of Stitch. Yeah, um, it's Stitch. Made out of pumpkins with Toby face. And I have Hobie and a baby Bjorn facing forward. Um, and he's uh -huh. on me. And I put the earplugs in and we head into the bar. What What is the name? It of? is. The font is so hard to read that you <laughs> can't even tell what it says. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I walk in. What's the, what's the situation? Is it crowded? Is it... You are not going to believe what is in this tavern. What is it? I'll tell you next week ah! <laughs> on the Great Adventures podcast. Rowan and Hobie walk into a bar. Bye.
Michael for the punchline. I need say. to give you reviews, don't I? Yeah, buddy. Uh, life is hard. We got caught up to April and July, and so you know we gotta do, we gotta get it, baby. I'm talking about can you save it in the greetings adventures chat because I can never find it. Oh, we didn't do cool shit. Oh damn. Oh damn. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, make a new gurgle doc, Michael, to do tomorrow. I'm going to. What was the last review that we had? Yeah. The last review is from April 13th, uh, titled Pretty Good by Gosh. It's Pretty good. Play. It's only a million That's years. so long ago. Oh, yeah. No, I only care about Stitcher and Apple reviews. Thank you. Because our technology only has the ability to grab them from those two places. I wonder if you can actually review things on Spotify ever. I don't so. know. I don't think so. I know you can, like, you can leave stars in like basic podcast apps, but I have no, I we have no way to get I that. I don't know why we're, we do so well. It's because Spotify is like our best. I just think so many people use Spotify. It's, yeah, it's easy. Everything's there. But like we're really, we're like really high up in the rankings. Mm -hmm. Over half our downloads are Spotify. I see. It's crazy. Wow, it's crazy. Fuck. Um, how do I even do this? How do you change your emojis in Twitch? Hard what? questions for me. I thought there was like a way to yes, do that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like wow. maybe 55, 60% Spotify. What's the exact date? Really? April 13th, yeah. What? And that's total, meaning, uh, hmm. no, this is total since switching to Art19, so not the whole time. Yeah. Right, right Michael? Yep, since switching to Art19. So. Oh God. Many Maybe podcast so attic. The, the top is Spotify, then other, <laughs> then Apple Core Media. Is that just the Apple? I, I guess it just means mean, various Apple things. Word. Castbox, Stitcher, and then the podcast. podcast Attic. Huh, that's weird. You're on here, you tell me more. Okay. Just talking about stats as we wait for things. This will be cut out of <laughs> the podcast. But you and Twitch can see it all now and be like, what is the point? All right. 98 pages of reviews for you, buddy. <laughs> the, uh, we have a decent number of downloads on Pandora. We, they have their own feed. Huh? Um, so there's a file called reviews in the in great adventure. There, there's a specific Pandora feed that we have to publish to. It's like 19. It's weird. I see reviews. Oh my god. Michael. Sorry. So many. Oh my god. My computer's gonna crash. Thank god I got a new one. Oh, I got my new power supply today. Great. Hopefully it works. Wait. We do the... Are we ready for reviews? We just... Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Michael, for DMing. Um, you know, it's been such a wild ride over the... Holy shit! This is... We're like two weeks away from our seven-year anniversary. Yeah, man. Isn't that Jesus. crazy? Yeah. It is crazy. And this actually might come out after. No. Yeah. Yeah. The 28th? Yeah, maybe. It went, I think we recorded like the 27th or something. I don't remember. It we're was right that before out. Halloween and then it came yeah. out. Okay, so this... Oh, damn. This episode is releasing uh, when we recorded, but you know, our the first episode didn't come out until November, I think. But yeah, tw seven years. Seven, seven, seven. That's the number we say on this podcast. But thank you so much for all, all the reviews. It helps us you all know the spiel. Bananas the Dragonborn 777 <laughs> says, greatest other canon podcast of all time. Just like Tim instructed so early, I waited until I completely caught. I never said that. Uh, this podcast is incredible. It has inspired me to play D&D for the first time. Thanks so much. Uh, best got dang thing I've ever put in my ear holes by your average Frank from Canada. Uh, good day, mate. I don't even know when I started listening, but I've gotten all the way up to Ep 130 officially on April 15th. And I love you guys so much. Uh, Laser the Kitty, 
they're good humans. Interesting. <laughs> Jennifer and Tim feed me. They pet me. They clean my poop, so I give them five stars. <laughs> Tim doesn't even get too mad when I make him feels like dying because he's allergic to me. So go listen to their podcast with Mike Thrifty on Nika. Them three good humans, too, because they make... Uh, humans laugh and make them happy. They make good show. Okay, bye. Blaze, thank you for the nice. Show. What a good boy. Good boy. Your son is sweet. Our son, he he could work on his spelling, yeah. but he the, the thought is what what counts. I respect yeah. it. Jeff D and D says five out of five fish buckets. Just caught up and had to review. Sorry for not reviewing earlier, Tim. It's okay. And, and had to thank you for me, taking me on your D and D journey. Autumn Roses 2. Oopsies. Uh, I accidentally reviewed on my parents' iTunes account. I have no idea how to delete it. Perfect. So a second review it is. Everyone, review on your parents' account. Yeah. I started on episode one at the end of May 2018. I told myself that I'd review once I caught up. But once February 2019 rolled around, I finally caught up. I failed. Damn. Uh, Chris51261 from the United States says, Amazing. After all this time, always. This is one of the podcasts I've I've been listening to the longest, and that's a testament to the quality that this group has always put out. Listen, you won't be disappointed. What's after all this time? Always. That's Harry Potter, right, Michael? Yeah, that's Harry Potter's. Yeah. Nathan (laughs) being like an incel or whatever. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Twitchy husband from the United States says, "A little bit of pee came out. This podcast has done more for my <laughs> mental health and the mental health of those around me than any prescription or time in a therapist chair. While yeah. I'm still okay, while I still encourage people to find a good mental health professional, supplementing it with Geekly Inc. is beneficial. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Venter Call from Sweden says, "Awesome. Came here on recommendation from the Mackerel Boys, and while I'm happy I did, I just can't stop listening. I listen everywhere, and I probably shouldn't at work, at the store, or just when I'm out." doing stuff the looks i get when i cackle to myself in the line at the store or when i order coffee at the coffee shop makes me think that someone will probably call the nice people that provides the nice shirts that let you hug yourself ah cobalt inventor from the united states says i'm 14 and i love it Ooh, i started this thing in november 2018 and it took me three months to catch i love the youngsters are like i'm 14 it's like all right uh this <laughs> reminds me of D&D campaigns, uh, and it was weird that one of the things that I was looking forward to was my 14th birthday was the latest episode. Never stop making content. Uh, Twitchy husband's wife broke into my wife's computer to leave a review. So Drunks and Dragons helped me through being diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god. Laughing my way through chemo and kept me optimistic through everything life could throw at me. Last week I was finally able to contribute to Patreon. It felt great to be able to pledge that unlocked the next reward. <gasps> Here, thank Hell you. yeah! Thank you. Today I noticed good old D and D was just one review away from 2,100 five star reviews in iTunes. So I borrowed my wife's laptop, logged into her iTunes, and started writing this review. And I noticed a tiny naked lady icon on the desktop. Curious, I clicked to find hundreds <laughs> of pictures, videos, and documents that chronicle the affair she has been having with my best friend, brother, and father. I'm just kidding. My wife is the best person I know, and there isn't <laughs> anything. Her laptop that would make even the Pope blush. I just wanted to make sure that if you read this on air, I would. I uh, recognize it as my review <laughs> that helping me through cancer was real and this show has done more for my mental health than the years of expensive therapy you're all the best and make the world a better place for so many of us thank you all for all you do thank wow you so those are like such nice reviews holy those shit super great. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since we've read the reviews but damn it really fills my heart with joy maybe yeah. that's what my life has been missing really on a roller coaster about your wife there for a minute yeah, the clue. I liked it uh, uh, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. If you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. We're at Geekly Inc. or at DD Podcast. And I'm at Thrifty Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Gradients Adventures? Well, make sure to head over to geeklyinc.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished being awkward and horny at the library, head on over to Apple Podcasts or your other podcast app of choice to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash Podcast. Once you become a patron, you have access to exclusive content you won't be able to find anywhere else. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep it dicey. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Stop and export. Oh, we're supposed to be recording?
Oh, oh what? no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much, everyone in the chat for all the bits. It's, it's a, a great way for us to supplement some of the things that we do. We use a lot of the Twitch money as our, oh, we should probably do something weird fun. Yes. Um, stuff. Also, it definitely like pays for our servers. Yes. yes. There's that. You always go for like the, the important stuff. I'm always like, what if we want to commission art for like something that we do? For a, a thing. Do that as well. Like, I want to be sexy. No. What? You are not allowed.